Hey guys, Christina Poncher here, and you're watching True School Sports. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to continue talking about this, the, these flyaways, these super flyaways, because there's just so many things going on in this division. I would say, like, like, look, everybody's talking about the heavyweight division going through a golden age, which, which I think it is true. I think the heavyweight division is in a great place. I think it's in a, an amazing state, state, uh, state right now. But the flyweight division, the super flyweight division, you know, just that whole flyweight area weight classes i think that's in a golden age i mean you got you got killers everywhere you got roman chalatito gonzalez you got uh, uh juan francisco estrada kazuzota ioka kosi to tanaka um you know freaking julio cesar martinez i mean the wbc flyweight champion who just had a freaking banger an absolute war probably in my opinion the fight of the night on the garcia vargas uh card you know, between him and Jay Harris, just a great fight all all the way around. But uh, he want he want up, you know, getting out of there with a, with a W. Jay Harris was no pushover. Jay Harris uh, hung tough. Jay Harris actually put Martinez into uncomfortable positions. But you know, we look at Martinez, we look at just his style, the fact that this guy throws so many great combinations. He's a, he's a fantastic combination puncher. He loves to work on the inside. That's his bread and butter. Inside combination punching. He is a true. Mexicans, Mexican fighter. Like, that's what he is. Um, so he, he's coming off two big wins. You know, obviously winning the world title against Christopher Rosales. You know, uh, beating Jay Harris. And um, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's uh, solidifying himself as one of the premier fighters, uh, as one of the premier uh, smaller fighters in boxing. You know, with him being Mexican, with him having an exciting crowd-pleasing style, with him being a dangerous fighter for anybody in the weight class. You know, he, he's going to be around for, for, for some time, uh, Martinez, and he's young, too. He's 25 years old. So, look, I saw a tweet, and I put it at the beginning of the video, but I want to give every shout-out in the world to this guy right here because this guy's my brother from another mother. I love this dude right here, and I can't really say that I love anybody in boxing media, but I love this guy right here. Shout-out to my boy Sean Tatel of Fight Hype, okay? My man Sean Tatel of Fight Hype had a chance to see him at the fights. Sat right next to him during the gonzalez Cali Five fight, and, he's, and he had this tweet. And that's what this video is based on. He said, he, here's what he said. He said, I quote, Man, Julio Cesar Martinez should meet up with Roman Gonzalez at 115 pounds. That would be so incredible. It's not even funny. That's a dream fight in the lower weight classes, in my opinion. So my man Sean to tell dropping that mother-loving ether. That shit that make your soul burn slow. Now listen, Roman Gonzalez versus Julio Cesar Martinez. Let's look at this, let's look at this fight from every perspective. You know, and obviously this, this is just all just hypotheticals, but hypotheticals are fun to talk about in boxing sometimes. Okay, let's look, let's look at it from a stylistic boxing standpoint. Roman Chalatito Gonzalez is a pressure fighter, an intelligent pressure fighter who likes to throw punches in rapid succession, step around his opponents, uh, throw four or five punch combinations varying to the head and to the body. To step around them and create new punching angles and throw more combinations, okay? That's who he is. That's what he's always been. That's not changing. Julio Cesar Martinez is your prototypical Mexican fighter. He likes to fight in the phone booth. He's no... Sean, I don't know if that, this, this is his nickname, but Sean calls him the combo kid. So I guess, you know, the combo kid, he throws combos as well. So these are two uh, pressure fighters who throw lots of combination punches. So stylistically speaking, you could expect a fight that's that, that that's uh, friendly to the fans and intriguing to the networks. You know, intriguing to the zone. Okay, so that it takes that box. We talk about the the business of boxing. You know, because boxing is a business. Is how big would a fight between these two be? And I'll tell you this, guys. I think this fight is is, is what you know. If if Martinez ever decides to move to 115 and fight Chalatito, this fight is big enough to be a headline. This 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 that fight is big enough to be a headliner on um on a card, um, because when we look at Martinez, I mean I was I was there I, I was there so I could literally see and feel the reception of the crowd when Martinez walked out of the ring against Jay Harris and man this guy was getting great support I mean great support when he walked back to the locker room following the victory I was I was near the entrance this guy was getting fucking mobbed by the Mexican fans so. You know, Martinez is loved. He's beloved by Mexican fans. He obviously, he obviously has the ties to Canelo's camp as well. So that, 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 does, that, that doesn't hurt him at all either as far as with the fans. And then we talk about Chalatito. I mean, this is a guy that sold upwards of 
seven to eight thousand tickets by himself as a headliner. You know, in LA. So when you when you mix the fact that this guy Martinez is a crowd pleasing uh, has a crowd pleasing style, he's got growing popularity not just among Mexican fans but boxing fans at large, and then you put him in there, put him in there with a legend, an established name of Romo Gonzalez, an established ticket seller like Romo Gonzalez on the West Coast, business wise. It makes a lot of sense, so it ticks that box. So stylistically, it ticks the box. Business-wise, it ticks the box. Okay, Martinez has stated. I, I I saw some interviews. He stated in the past that he wants to defend his belt 115, 112 a couple of times. But hey, if a fight, if an offer of Roman Gonzalez comes through, I, I don't think he'd turn it down. So politically speaking, does it make a lot of sense? Would it make a lot of sense to make this fight if it, if it was offered? And yes, it would because um, Gonzalez has a belt. Gonzalez is a legend in the sport. Gonzalez is a future Hall of Famer. And so why would Martinez turn down an opportunity if the money is reasonable? Why would he turn down the opportunity to fight Chalatito Gonzalez? So I'm going to go with Sean. We're going to go with Sean. This is a dream fight for the sport of boxing. You know, two, uh, you know, one of boxing's, you know, probably boxing's best pressure fighter of the last 25 years taking on, you know, uh, a, a, a damn good pressure fighter in his own right, you know, an up and coming, fun, entertaining, crowd pleasing pressure fighter in his own right in uh, Martinez. You know, it's Mexico versus Nicaragua, and you know the the Mexicans, man. Like, look, no 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 disrespect to all my Mexicans out there, because listen, I I got lots of respect for the Mexicans. I love the Mexican fans. Like, I got mad love when I was, when I was in Dallas. I got mad love from the Mexican fans. There were people up to me saying, "Hey, are you BT? Are you True School Sports?" One guy even took a picture with me. So I got I got nothing but, I got nothing but respect for all the love the Mexicans show the sport of boxing and that they showed me when I was out there in um, Dallas. And you know, I love I love me some Mexican women. I mean, you want to know if you want to know what my weaknesses, it's Mexican women. I, lo I love the Mexican women from the West Coast. Um, so no 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 disrespect to the Mexicans, but if we look at the, the career of Chalatito Gonzalez, this guy has been. You know the executioner. I mean, he's been the he's been the, he's been the executioner of the flyweight and super flyweight division. I mean, we talk about Gallo Estrada, beat him. Carlos Cuadras, beat him. Um, I know I'm missing somebody. Who, who, who I'm missing a lot. I'm missing somebody, and I'm drawing a blank here. Uh, Cuadras, uh, Estrada. Um, who else did he beat that was Mexican? I mean, I'm sure he beat some other Mexican fighters. I mean, even if he didn't, those are pretty two damn good Mexican fighters to beat. You know, but let's see. Uh, Estrada beat him. Padras, he beat him. F it. He's still an executioner. He, he's only beaten two Mexicans before in his career, but they were two of the best Mexicans. They were the, we were the only two Mexicans that had anything for him. So this would be Martinez's chance if Gonzalez doesn't fight Estrada before Martinez to avenge the losses and do it for Mexico. Vida Mexico! Okay? You know, he's got to go in there and be a, a good. Um, he's got to go in there and be a warrior. You know, be a warrior. And I, listen, I think, I think stylistically speaking, you know, with, 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 with the way these guys approach boxing, with the way these guys love the fight, this has fight of the year written all over it. This has fight maybe of the decade written all over it. I mean, it's, I think it would be that entertaining of a fight between Gonzalez and Martinez. Um, but I think the window for that fight to be its best is probably this year. So if they're, if they're going to look to make, make that fight, I think they're going to make it this year. And with Gonzalez picking up, picking up a title, you know, potentially maybe having a mandatory against Maloney and then seeking unification with um, Guy Estrada, I don't see him taking that fight unless the fight's on the table for an absurd amount of money. But Martinez versus Gonzalez, I like, I like the way Sean thinks, and that's why he's my friend. So let me know what you guys think. Would you want to see Julio Cesar Martinez, the new Mexican warrior on the block, you know, the guy that Sean affectionately calls the combo kid, would you want to see him fight the living legend? Chalatito, or as I like to call him, the real TBE. Do you want to see Julio Cesar Martinez versus Roman Gonzalez um, at 115? Let me know in the comments down below. Who would you favor and why? And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.